Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to install Reshade into prepared version 4.5. As you can see I have my Sky Clarity preset open here. I've got my Reshade set up and obviously the Sky Clarity Reshade preset which this .ini file comes into. So we're going to start off with opening the setup file. We're going to select our game and we're going to select prepared version 4.5.exe file and uh, after that direct 3d 10 plus I'm going to overwrite as I already have it installed but we're going to download the standard effects just wait for that to download and once it's downloaded we're actually going to untick the magicbloom.fx this causes unneeded crashes within our prepared. So locate to your prepared directory and we will select the techniques or the effects that we want in our prepared. Hello all and welcome back. So I have located to my shaders that I installed for reshade. This will be found in your prepared directory reshade-shaders and the shaders folder. When we're in here, we actually don't want all of these effects. We only want to use the effects that are come with the preset or the ones that you want to use in your own preset. So we're going to make a new folder. We're going to call this just reshade off. You can call it whatever you want. It doesn't have to have a specific name. I'm going to select all of these and actually just move them into this folder. Now when they're in this folder, they won't be recognized by reshade, but we do want some to be recognized. So we want like I was saying in the techniques, the DPX and the ambient light, ambient light, DPX, and then we're going to scroll down and look for the reshade uh, .fsxh, fxh, and the reshade UI fxh files. We're going to cut that, and we're going to just paste those back in this shaders folder behind. So this should be enough to load reshade into our prepared. When we load up reshade into prepared we will just have to go through a short tutorial activate it and then we should be all good to go i'll see you in prepared okay so we're back so in order to open the reshade menu we need to hold shift and press f2 and it will give us with a kind of like a little tutorial so we're going to press continue we're going to select a preset. Now, if you put this in your prepared version 4 folder, it will automatically find it. And you might have just noticed that my screen just changed color. So we're going to press continue. And we're going to apply, just make sure that these are all applied. It's harder to see, but there is a slight blue square in the middle that just says uh, it's applied. So we can continue with that. And that is reshade near enough finish so we're going to press finish here we're going to go to our settings and we're actually going to set a toggle key it can be whatever you like I mean for the purposes of this tutorial okay prepared just randomly decide to do a auto save okay I think he's made up his mind so we can choose the old key and another thing we want to do is we actually want to change our screenshot key now normally I say select V the default prepared also you might want to set a screenshot path I believe this might just normally save in yeah it does save into your just normal prepared folder so I actually got a folder made called screenshots and we also want to change it to a PNG so any screenshot you take will have the reshade applied to it just make sure that your effects and your texture search paths are as follows and that is reshade set up so using the alt key you can turn it on and off and you can see that there is a difference if we go to the outside view wait for everything to load in and see once again there is certainly a difference and that ladies and gentlemen is reshade installed for prepared version 4.5 thank you very much and i hope to see you in the next video